Okay, let's talk about the metric window just a little bit. Okay, usually when we want to adjust, okay, the side bearing or the space between the character, right? We have to do it in individually. Just double click inside the grip window of the character that you like, and then just adjust the side bearing, which is this line, right? And this line. It will define the space between the character. Okay, make sure that the character is um, inside both of the side bearing, the left one and the right one. All right. And it has some a little space between here to make sure that it's not too wide, it's not too narrow. Okay. So you can do it one by one like this, or you can use um, metric window. Okay. Where is it exactly? You go to window here on top of the menu. Select it and select new metric windows. Okay. You can type in the character that you want to adjust the side bearing for instance okay a b c d e f or you can select it from the grip window and hold down shift okay f g or whatever it is okay and you check the space between the character here all right if it's not too wide it's great okay you can adjust it all at once which is great right you don't have to do it individually okay you adjust it from this window if it's too you know too wide just adjust it Alright, so this is the window you can adjust the tracking of each of the character. Yay, you don't have to cut like you know adjust it in the grip window or you know you can put some number here inside of this um you know the number here. You can change it manually or you can just drag and you know just drag the line or you can put some number of um you know the width of the you know the whole um, grip window and also the left side bearing the right side bearing here as well if you want okay there's a table under here right when you all adjust it okay the next thing is you have to adjust the kerning okay the kerning of course is the special pair of the characters so next what you have to do is go to window right again go back to window go to new metric oh no new kerning tabs here and then after this, I mean, you can type in the character that you want to adjust the space between each other, all right? Or you can go to window, right? Go to panel, right? And you select, um, just let me see just a little bit. Pair and phrases, okay? So it will come up with the pair and phrases that usually, okay, we have the problem with the kerning, as you can see here, right? Some of the characters are just overlap, so you have to adjust it in the kerning tab. Make sure it's not metric tabs, all right? See? Okay, you might need to adjust the space. You can do it individually like this. Just drag and drop each of the character, all right? Or you can put some number here. Put some number here on the table. Okay, that is not good. <laughs> Maybe 400? No. 1000? Okay, not good. Not good at all. Okay, then set justice. Individually like this. Okay, it's not going to be a problem. Oh, okay, now it's look better. Okay. Drag it. Why on earth I can't drag it? Okay, now you can drag and drop it. Okay, make sure that the space between each of the character are, you know, all right, like this, something like this, all right. And next, move on to the next press. Okay, as you can see, the space between the character is large. Then adjust it just like this, just drag it. Okay, or change the number here. Okay, at the last um, cell of the table, just put some number in. Select the characters. Move it around, okay? It will change the kerning of each of the character, right? Just do it, okay, until you're done with all the phrases here, right? Another thing is you can change from the text here by double click it, okay? You can see that there's a text, right? Right now is the text, right? Or you can change it to pair, okay? It will come up with a character pairing like this, okay? You can adjust, uh, it will try to combine, you know? The character in a word, but actually is um, the kerning between A and C. Okay, you can do it like this. Okay, but of course you can do the S as well. Okay, and you can like, you know, select the pair that you like to, you know, make adjustment. Drag it just a little bit. 
do it until you're done with the whole table. It's no, I know it's long, but you know this typical character that should be current, okay? Or if you want the te um, the text, then just you know select this line, okay? Select it and change it to pair, all right? You will come up with pa the character pair or text here, okay? And adjust the kerning, you know. It's a tedious um, job, but you know. Trust me, it's useful. Just adjust it like this. Okay.